Hi everybody and welcome to another Bitwig Studio Basics episode. So you have a bunch of MIDI controllers in the studio. Let's look at how we can get the most out of these MIDI controllers in Bitwig Studio. My name is Matthias, let's take the tour. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you hook up a MIDI controller in uh, Bitwig is uh, go to the dashboard. So we click the dashboard icon and go to settings and controllers. And this is basically the place for connecting all your MIDI controllers. And you can see that I have a keyboard, eight device knob. I have a key station mini connected, the mini 32. Then uh, I have a complete control S61. It's uh, currently not uh, activated. We can see the power button here is uh, deactivated. But we have a Minilog XD keyboard and the knob connected. It's also the type of generic keyboard plus uh, eight device knobs. Then finally we have the machine jam down here with a custom script. So basically just uh, press add here and uh, look up your keyboard of choice. So if you have a Roly, you can look up the Seaboard Rise or Seaboard Grand here. And if your MIDI controller is of a type that's not uh, in this list, you can always go to the generic here and just uh, select the generic uh, keyboard plus uh, eight device knobs or the MIDI keyboard. So that's how you connect your MIDI controller. So we have a Tundra patch here, which is uh, a string patch from uh, Spitfire Albion Tundra. It uh, sounds like this. So you could hear that this uh, instrument is already pre-mapped with a bunch of controllers. If you go in here in the contact sampler, go to automation, you can see the host automation tab. And we have a bunch of parameters that's already pre-mapped in this instrument. So I can instantly access, say, the dynamics control. We have the release control. We have the tightness and the, the reverb. We need to add a little bit more release on that one. And we also have a control for the expression. So this first patch was uh, predefined with a bunch of parameters that you can control. But sometimes you might have instruments that's not uh, preset or predefined with these uh, controllers. We can look at this uh, emotional cello. So there's a bunch of ways that you can attach uh, MIDI CC controllers to be able to control the different parameters in this uh, plugin. One way is to use the host automation here, so we can drag uh, this uh, host parameter 0 to this knob and it will hook up this knob to the remote controller here. So that's one way, but uh, there's uh, a little problem here. We have the mod wheel here, which uh, can also control various uh, parameters in many instruments. But there's no way to drag this uh, host controller to this uh, mod wheel. It doesn't act like these uh, knobs up here. And we also have a second way of uh, hooking up controllers, MIDI controllers, to this instrument. We can add a MIDI CC device in Bitwig. So let's add a MIDI CC device. And as we can see in this device, we have a CC1 controller, a CC11 knob, and a CC30 knob. And we can actually set all these to our custom CC values. 
just uh, click and drag. So let's set this one to CC2. And now since we have a CC1 controller here, it's going to be able to control the mod wheel on this device that's uh, after after the MIDI CC device in the chain here. So the good thing about this is uh, now we have the Machina Jam with the Bitwig script and uh, since we have this controller mapped up, we can actually control this from the Machina Jam. Although it doesn't have a mod wheel. And we can also map this little controller. Just right click, learn MIDI and move the say CC13 device, CC13 knob. And now we have the this uh, middle knob attached to CC13. And also accessible from the machine I am here. Here we have another example, another instrument. It's also from the Emotional Cello Suit. And we can see here this one accepts uh, CC2 for artic Articulation X-Fade and CC1 for Velocity Crossfade. So that's a great way to hook up your MIDI gear to uh, the contact sampler and other VST instruments. So let's go back to the Tundra here again. And we can add this note latch device and just do a little jam. Okay, so that's a few tips on how you can use the MIDI CC device in Bitwig Studio to get the most out of your MIDI controllers. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section below. Now you can continue and watch my next video. Thanks for watching today, my name is Matthias, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!